Was it, uh, you know, I, I sort of made the connection after understanding climate change and seeing it as a holistic systems problem that I said, hey, let's take all this Deming template of profound knowledge and we can apply it to it. And it also creates a robustness to the argument of why should we pay attention to sustainability? Because if you weren't paying attention to quality, you, got a, you were out of business. Yeah. This is another issue that you need to pay attention to. And I think it's a, bar, it's a part of meaning. I, I was talking to David before about you know, the video where the gentleman said, if you give a child, find the meaning, then they're gonna listen and they're gonna learn. And I think you know, David's example of the 1,200 people taking down everything Deming was saying because they felt there was a real meaning there. Uh, and I think the people you may have been talking to about sustainability just didn't see the meaning and they wouldn't listen. Um, and I think that's the dilemma. I think there's a, there's a book called The Innovator's Dilemma by Clayton Christensen, and I think basically what he's saying is you can't get to understanding disruption through the numbers. You're never gonna get there by looking at your margins. You're gonna continue to do what you've done that's made you successful. He has a quote that says, um, good management is every successful company's ultimate demise. <laughs> and to me, that sounds very Deming-esque. Uh, you know, Deming was talking about we're ruined by hard work and ruined by best efforts. It's because we're doing that without thinking what else is going on. So uh, I really think there's a relationship between this idea of how we address sustainability and, uh, you know, how, how we approached quality 40 years ago. Um, uh, let's look at companies that are doing this kind of stuff now and are actually part of this disruption. We, we, we learned about Patagonia uh, yesterday, a great example of a company. There's, a, there's actually quite a, a good list of these companies. And I think what we could do is uh, uh, study them, learn from them, and actually uh, take that template and, and, and using Dr. Deming's system of profound knowledge to, uh, to, to start talking to other companies who weren't paying attention to Brian uh, and didn't want to talk about this. So, um, so, so that's one thing, and I, you know, I have a list of these companies. I can go through them, but just quickly, companies like Method, uh, which makes uh, cleaning products for the home, and their idea was not to make cleaning products that are toxic. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of an innovative new idea. Uh, startup company that's disrupting their industry. Uh, Tesla uh, w with the electric car. Sun Edison, I've talked about them already. Uh, just the idea of the shared economy, I think, is a big part of this idea of getting to a more sustainable society. Dr. Deming talked about a product or service having quality if it helps somebody and enjoyed a good and sustainable, he uses the word market. He also talks later about the system includes the future and he has in Out of the Crisis, he talks about the Taguchi loss function and calls it a better view, a better description of the world. Those things look to me as if they're all connected quality, sustainability, the future, and I was wondering what you see in that. Yeah, I think it's all there. I think, uh, you know, Dr. Deming often was not explicit about things. You know, he sort of uh, addressed things in a way that made people think. But I think, uh, as you're pointing out, you know, if it's about the future, he even talked about the environment a little bit. But, um, yeah, I, I believe that if he, if he were around today, he would, he would certainly see this issue and the issue of building a sustainable global economy is very much uh, a part of what he was talking about. Uh, let me just um, saddle up on uh, something I just remembered. Uh, Andrew and Gypsy Ranny, who's been a longtime student of Dr. Deming and his teachings, co-wrote a paper and it's, what's the title, Andrew? Uh, climate Change and Management. Climate Change and Management, Andrew Published McKeon. by the Society of Manufacturing Engineers, the there you go. Uh, Andrew McKeon and Gypsy Ranny, and I'm pretty sure if you do a Google search on that, you'll find a PDF somewhere. But, but uh, anyone who's interested in seeing how Gypsy and Andrew brought thoughts about climate change and the, the theory of Dr. Deming into a paper and you can, you can just see how they, they map it all out, uh, along with, I think, a couple of anecdotes, examples. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great paper, and uh, you know, reach out to us involved with the Damon Institute. We can, I, I've got the link somewhere, I know. Yeah, I, I can certainly send anyone a copy of it if they want it, um, but it, we walk through the system of profound knowledge Right. Uh, in, in thinking about climate change right. and addressing a sustainable. I think economy. it's very useful for the, vocab the vocabulary people mm -hmm. will want to have mm -hmm. 
to have to encourage those around them to think about sustainability at a deeper level through that lens of profound knowledge. And, and, and what we do at the end is we sort of make a list of, of issues that are looked at sort of without profound knowledge and then looked at you know, through the prism of profound yeah. knowledge. And some of the things are like, actually, um, I think that the systems thinking and addressing sustainability is the end of externalities because what it says is those aren't external. It depends on how you draw yeah. your system. And, yeah. and in fact, it's really about feedback loops. So uh, if we really wanted to complete that, we would show the connection between those dots and those different boxes and the connection between customer and supplier. Because ultimately, if you have this closed loop, and it's what Ray Anderson was trying to do with his carpet company, your customer is part of your supply chain now because they're, you're going to go back and take that product back and remake it. So, yeah. so we, we try to do a lot with um, how you rethink things in, in, through profound knowledge from a sustainability yeah. standpoint. Yeah.